We have been living with this virus now for almost two years. What is your assessment of what we've learned over these last two years? Where have you seen the greatest successes in combating the virus and, of course, the worst failures? Well, we've learned a lot over the last two years, uh, but we haven't learned enough. If you actually look at the numbers, we're right now around the world and in many countries as bad or worse than we have ever been in terms of numbers of people infected, in terms of hospitals overflowing. So whatever it was that we should have learned, we haven't learned well enough. We have learned, for example, that this virus is really tricky, that it can change. Some of us, like me, predicted this is exactly what would happen. There would be no herd immunity. The viruses would evolve to evade our immune defenses and our vaccines. And we had to take a series of measures, including public mitigation measures, vaccination of as many people as uh, we, we can, close to universal vaccination. And we have to really ramp up our efforts to find combinations of new drugs. Some of them, at least one, uh, seems quite promising now, but it's limited. So we have a long, long way to go. I'm afraid we're in for another maybe three to five years of serious trouble with this virus around the world. And you say three to five years, and clearly one of the problems, and we've heard this from WHO officials, is that uh, no one's safe until everyone's safe. And that gets back to this inequality. Some areas of the world where people can get the jabs readily available, other parts where it's been difficult. How do we correct that problem, and how big a problem is that? It's an enormous problem. And it's not just a problem with the rich countries hoarding the vaccines. It's a problem of vaccine manufacture altogether. Many of us had warned that a pandemic like this was coming and that we needed to prepare. And one of the fundamentals way you prepare for a, a pandemic like this is you build the capacity in your own country, in your own continent for vaccine manufacture. And that simply wasn't done. If you look at the South American content, uh, continent, you may find five places that can make vaccines. Africa, it's about the same. We need that capacity. We don't have it, and the world is suffering.